Okay, so let's talk about the My IT Lab um, assignments and how you get into your My IT Lab account by setting it up. So I'm going to go ahead and click into My IT Lab. The first thing you're going to see is a link with some information. This information should will walk you through how to set up your account. Okay, so you click on My IT Lab. And what it asks you first is it brings you to the website and you have to then say I'm going to register as a student. Okay, so I'm going to click here. So what you're going to need is three pieces of information and really it's basically the way you're de determining how you're going to access, and this access code is important, uh, My IT Lab. So you need an email address, doesn't matter if you're using the campus or not. You need a course ID. So let me just show you. I've provided the course ID f that's for all of my classes right here. And then, and I'm going to go ahead and do something. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, right click and copy it so I have it. And you will need either an access code or a credit card. So let's be clear about what this means. The access code will come from you purchasing My IT Lab in the FCC bookstore. So in that hard copy book, and that's what you get if you purchase it from the bookstore, you have an access code that you will use to get your account. If you plan on purchasing My IT Lab only from the publisher, you will still need email, you will still need this ID, but you will need a credit card in order to complete what we're about to do. Now why would you uh, do one or the other? Let's look at the syllabus and review what I've already given you some high-level information about. Right? Here's the two ways, the bookstore and the textbook publisher, you can get this uh, My IT Lab. If you get it from the bookstore, here's the price. If you get it from the publisher, here's the price. Okay, so obviously this is cheaper. So what you have to figure out is how you want to access it because even though it's cheaper, you may be somebody that prefers that hard copy book or that has other requirements that make you buy the hard copy book. So just know that if you get it from the publisher, you get no hard copy. Okay, you get the ebook version of the textbook, which by the way, if you buy it this way and get a hard copy, you also get the ebook version. So having an electronic book, textbook, is an option that we see more commonly with classes now. Okay, so let's go ahead and back here, right? That's what that acts. So access code means you got it from the bookstore, credit card means you're buying it here. Now it is going to give you two weeks of trial for you to set up an account, but you do have to then purchase it after the or sometime before those two weeks are up, you will no longer be able to access the My IT Lab account, which is an important part of our class. So just to confirm and to review, My IT Lab training and assign training and exams 20% my IT practical exams, which is the equivalent of our projects, are 15%. So this, this website accounts for 35% of your grade. All right, coming back here, we're going to go ahead, and now that we understand this, we're going to click OK. We're going to go Microsoft Office 2013. And now we have to have that code. Then if you remember right, I copied from here. OK, you could type it in, but it's easier. I'm going to do Control V to paste it in and I'm going to continue. So now you have to either create a Pearson account. So Pearson is the publisher and if you've used and had another class that used Pearson then you will already have an account and you can sign in. Most likely you will have to go ahead and create an account. During the create if you do have one it will tell you at that point. So I'm going to click create and here's the information, right? That email that it wanted, the username. So I have a, kind of a, a throwaway account that I use. Um, and now what it's going to want me to do is use my username as my, um, my email as my username. No problem with that. What it's going to do here also is it's going to want me to set up a password. Now it actually has some requirements, so it'll tell you. And then I'm going to have to repeat that. first name and then what you're going to have here is you're going to have right where was I born right and this was actually kind of a joke but I'll go ahead and put Fresno here now at this point you have to accept 
um, the a license agreement. And then you don't have to put this, right? So if you if you don't want any offers, which I generally don't, I won't do that. And then you'll create the account. So here's your two options that I was talking to you about earlier. Okay. So if you're um, buying only my IT lab from them, this is the path you would take. And if you have an access code, that's the path. Now here is the waiting for financial aid. They're going to give you 14 days, okay? But you do have to purchase it, right? Before, and it actually shows you based on my current date. Uh, so it actually tracks from the moment you sign up, right? Be clear about that. And you're going to need this at the end of the second week of our course, okay? So now for this example, I'm going to go ahead and say I want temporary access, right? And it says, Are you sure? And I'm going to say yes and now it's actually going to take me to the course so if you have the access code you'll have to put that in if you're buying a credit card you'll have to go through that process whichever way you'll end up coming in here okay this will be where you end up all right so this is now okay let's go to the course it's just giving me some basic information I'm gonna go ahead and head on into the course okay so now I'm here it shows me uh, the course which is basically even though I gave you this number to get in when you get it when you let me close this window when you get here it'll say CIT Waller all sections okay and it will be the only thing listed so it's not as if you have other items here so let me go ahead and click in to here and now believe it or not we are actually in my IT lab or we're getting in we're not there quite yet okay so as it loads up and we come into the page this will be the landing page or the first page you come to when you get here okay and if there's something um, that I need you to know specifically about the my IT lab then you will see a message from me otherwise you can go ahead and click on course materials so in course materials what you will see is actually the material that you'll need to complete for this class right so while this is loading let me just move back over here to my IT lab and show you the first item which is the word chapter one training and exam okay and then um, you'll have a different video here but the concept will be you'll actually complete work in my IT lab but then you will use the new uh, skill or an old skill you already had of print screen in order to report your scores from my IT lab into Blackboard. But let's just go in here and click Word and then we have the training and in here we have the items okay and so if I was to go into the first one um, this actually and here's the first thing you'll see right so first thing we see and I don't know if you saw it but look up here in the corner this prevented this item from popping up okay and that's really those pop-ups or something we try to tell people don't allow happen but there are sometimes as in this case where we actually want that to happen so this really indicates something I haven't covered yet so I'm gonna end with this concept and then I will talk about this how to um, run these and provide more information on these later but in this case let me actually show you what they recommend you do so I'm gonna go again to my IT lab com right and for students right I'm gonna type on because there's in this case you have you can get register which we've already done there's support and more but we're gonna go ahead and click into support and we'll click into our office 2013 so there's a couple of really good things here that you wanna uh, educate yourself about and set up so what it'll first wanna do is do uh, how to set up your computer this is a pretty simple process that they'll want you to go through they'll talk about browser settings um, it works fine on a Mac it talks about um, the thing I recommend here is and they recommend is browser tune-up okay so if I click on browser tune-up it takes me to the bottom of the page so if you're running a Mac you would run this version and I know it's a little hard to see because of my screen resolution but if you're running Windows you would download and run this particular ver uh, version and it gives you video instructions okay so instructions are video so what you really want to do is before you start working in some in my IT lab is actually run this browser tune-up okay to make sure your browser's ready to go because it'll do things like help this pop-up blocker um, be removed for this particular site and some other important settings 
All right, so I think that's enough to at least get you started. So what you need to do, just to review, you need to register into the My IT Lab uh, uh, system, either by a code or by a credit card. You need to get into our course. Um, there's our course ID. Uh, when you get in, uh, you can actually see the lesson, the uh, items that are that we will have, our training and our exams and our practical exams. And you can go ahead and set up your computer to get it ready to run my IT lab. All right, hope this helps you out.